posted our Lion Fire Fortress intro. Third cup of coffee, can't look up today. We certainly do a lot of really cool digital effects on our channel, but it's the physical stuff that, that's really always done it for me. I just have to touch everything. I can't just look. I, I have to. I have to know what everything feels like. I just that's that's just how I am, I guess. Today, I'd like to take you guys to a place where I tried to apply for a job a hundred years ago. Given my age at the time, I was probably looking for an internship. I was probably too young to have a full-time job, but this was a place that I, I wanted to work when I was older. And after this little montage, in the comments, tell me if there was anything that you guys recognized. I do love my dinosaurs. The batteries in them have got to be 20 years old. 1998. You guys ever see Small Soldiers? That was the Stan Winston studio. You guys might have seen some of their work in some movies or commercials or, or I don't know, somewhere. Did any of that look familiar? Back in the day, it was like Stan Winston or Rick Baker. They did all the, the physical monsters and creature makeup effects, all that kind of stuff. You guys know in the last Jurassic Park movie, they only had one physical dinosaur. It was just the head and neck of one of the Apatosauruses. No, 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 avalanche. Mia and I both moved to California kind of just in time to see the end of the kind of stuff that we wanted to do for a living. There are not a lot of traditionally hand drawn cartoons on TV anymore and whatever ones there still are, those aren't done in California, they're done overseas. As for me, I wanted to work for a company like Stan Winston or something where I was creating monsters and stop motion stuff and physical effects. The former studio of award winning Hollywood makeup artist and special effects guru Rick Baker is being converted into a self storage facility. This is an old article, it, it since has been. I of course love to build stuff, I like to make all the physical things for the rangers to stand on or be in front of. And I want them, I want them to be, you know, physical, like real things, not just CG stuff. Uh, uh. Of course, the lightning, uh, when we had lion fire, well, here, the lightning is, of course, digital, but you'll notice that when the lightning is striking around him, that the light is actually affecting him. That was done physically. <laughs> to me, this thing looks like a prop, and I love that, and the more you paint it, like, the better I think it looks. That is incredibly satisfying to me. All the nice detail, and, it, and a lot of people, if they put some time and effort into it, they could do it too. This started with me having an idea for a video that I thought we could get done really quickly, including the Lion Fire Fortress, but it was a bigger story. So I ran outside and started repairing the sets. I think this needs some touching up.
All right, how about my uh, my mountain back here? Uh, wow, that actually survived. Uh. Okay, I can still use this. Not everything gets to be a brilliant work of art. Sometimes you just gotta get it good enough and then roll it. We wanted to do some nice fancy shots with the Lion Fortress for the intro, and I'm like, it could look so much better, and I didn't want to do like the red wheels. I don't know about you guys, but I, I find this kind of, I don't know if unbearable is too strong of a word, but yeah, this, this needs to be black. I told myself I wasn't gonna paint it yet, but I, I have to. <laughs> Just this, I'm just gonna do the wheels. How's that? I'm not gonna make it fancy. That was really bothering me. Maybe I could give it a hint of dry brushing, but that's it. So just the wheels and that's it. Okay, and the claws, that, that counts as the wheels. You know what's really close to the wheels and the claws? The head. I used up all the gold paint. I need more of that good shiny gold. So we're off to Home Depot, see if we can find some gold. All right, so we're just gonna take a quick ride over to Home Depot and I'll get some more gold paint and then I'll just finish up a little bit more gold and, and that'll, that'll be fine. Yes, that's the one I want. <clears throat> Use my tripod thing. This gate is very effective. And I want my cap too. Oh no, I cracked my cap. I took the entire thing apart. All right, convert to bed mode. Ugh. It's such a shame this couldn't have been gold chrome. That would have been beautiful. I want to paint the whole thing. I want it to be beautiful, but oh, it's just so plain. Oh, I want to paint this so badly, but I don't have time. But that's good enough for this video. That's it. I, I can't stand these. Last thing I'm going to do. All right, so the last thing, get my trusty primer stuff. I'm going to paint these, and then I'm going to call it good enough. These need some color. It's just, it's too plain. I appreciate the gray over the red, but no. Okay, last thing I'm doing. Oh, this is not drying today. And there's a reason for it. That's no good. I left it out and it rained for the third time in 10 years, so of course the label fell off. Dulling spray! This is something we use for green screen with plastic objects. You spray them and then they get dull, but you can wipe the stuff off when you're done with it. It's not a paint. It's just, it helps you not reflect the green screen when you're keying stuff. No! That's not what I wanted. Oh, the whole project I used the wrong spray. It's amazing that it worked at all. I confused the dulling spray with matte finish. They're like the same thing, except one you can wipe off and the other, uh, uh. It's not a primer. Yes, the entire Lion Fire Fortress Sword was primed with the spray that you wipe off. So for something like this, there is nothing to it. You're taking your tape. This is painter's tape. You get it at any hardware store. You can get it online. All right, I think now this fool needs some golden kneecaps. How about you guys? Then, then it's like really done for sure this time. Definitely last thing I'm gonna do on this. Nope, oh, come back here. And you just put the tape where you don't want the paint. So, you know, you just tape around the area and then you spray it, that's it. Anything that can be unscrewed, I'd unscrew it. Some of the stuff we do, you really do have to kind of be good at what you do. And then other stuff like this, it's just time. It's just the time that it takes to do all the taping and unscrewing and masking and maybe let the stuff dry. I would recommend letting it dry. I just, I don't let anything dry and then I touch it and then I ruin everything. This just needs to be done because we're trying to post this video on Monday. We haven't even started yet. And there's nothing new I've done here. I've shown you guys how to do this stuff with other toys. You're just applying the same thing to a different Megazord. Same dry brushing, same paint spraying, masking, all that stuff. It's the same thing, different Zord. Oh, I know some people have been <laughs> waiting on this. My grow things from the last video. He's really coming along. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> There's Pinchy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. He's very slippery. I think the rest of the things are too crowded to grow properly. There's my starfish. These things are fantastic. This birthday cake isn't doing so well. Grow thing slime. And while I love the physical sets and the models and the things you can touch, I also do really like the visual effects and the CG stuff that then goes on top of. You kind of combine two different skill sets, which is what Mia and I do on the channel now, what we did with our business before YouTube. For those of you guys that don't know, Mia and I ran our own video animation business for about 10 years. Um, what old videos should we put in? Well, definitely nothing that'll embarrass me. You mean you don't want to be in the video? I'm so glad I threw out that last copy of Daddy Tuck. <laughs> hey, here's Daddy Tuck. Oh! Right here is where the home movie footage of Daddy Tuck. 
Daddy stuck. <laughs> would be inserted. My cousin was a huge Simpsons fan, and for her bat mitzvah, Mia did like an entire animated episode of her family in the style of The Simpsons. The various animated segments would set up the home movies and the montages and all the other stuff. This is unfortunately about the only thing I can show you guys from our business because this is my family and most things we, we can't post. And this isn't even the HD version, but this is the one I have on my computer. But Mia can do animation in like any style. I wish I could show you some of this other stuff too. When we were doing Cory Uger, Mia taught herself a 3D modeling program so she could do Jerry's lab set. Wow, this new secret lab has really come along. It's remarkably adequate. We'll give me a thumbs up for that. I probably don't love Power Rangers for all the same reasons that most of the fandom does. For me, this was a live action show that was using costumes and effects makeup and CG effects like laser guns, shooting lightning out of your hand or that kind of stuff right out of a staff. Using physical models for the Zords instead of just doing them in CG. Even today, there's still big giant sets with people in suits and models and some of it's CG now, but it's still enough that it's, it's still really exciting for me. And then Mia's got a background in traditional animation, 2D, hand-drawn animation. She's really great with the digital effects. So then we take our two skill sets and we combine them and it's like such a great fit for us. And I love toys. Mia single-handedly does the work of an entire animation studio by herself. She did that Simpsons animation in three weeks. <laughs> All the artwork is of course done by Mia. I can't show you what Mia's doing right now because it's for a video for hopefully tomorrow if not the next day. The downside to what we do of course is that our house looks like this and this is where I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> There's kind of stuff everywhere. If you've seen our porch or backyard, let's see. It's just all set pieces. There, there's nowhere for any of the stuff to go. This is, you guys remember the little city set from uh, the when we did the movie thing? Got set pieces. It's They're all around the house in various stages of uh, decomposing, maybe is the word I want. Oy. Oh, oh, this has gotten even worse. Oh, you won't be able to see it. It's too dark. But there's just there's stuff everywhere. Just about every MMPR Toys video was was filmed on this wall. And if you guys were wondering, yes, this was the real deal. This is what you saw in the movie. Dilophosaurus was a puppet, not a CG thing. The raptors did have some CGI scenes, but there also were real physical puppet raptors as well. And the original Ninja Turtle movies, I loved the live action turtles. These were real suits that people were wearing, real latex suits with animatronic heads and the, I know people say fake, 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 but I thought they looked fantastic. All right, it's getting kind of late. I hope you guys found this kind of interesting. If you're new, welcome to the vlog channel. Thank you for subscribing and I'm gonna end here. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will always be back soon with many good videos and good night.